that's good. Oh. Now, this is the scene from the newspaper office. And yeah. I'm going to read Mr. Tracy's lines for you. Ready? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Camera. Listen, Mary. Why don't you get out of this racket? It's no place for a swell girl like you. Why don't you get yourself a husband? Thanks for the advice. You know, I'd like to think of you being happy, Mary. There isn't anything you'd care to do about it personally, is there? Yes, there is. There's a lot I'd like to do about it. But I can't. Hey, hey. Oh, hello, Spencer. Hi. Uh, you don't mind my telling you this, do you, Timmy? No, uh, hold it a minute, boys. I, uh, I think as an actor, you make a very good director. <laughs> well, I agree with you, Spencer. And now that you're here, we'll play the scene exactly as we're going to do it in the picture. Exactly? Yes. You hope, you mean. I hope, yes. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. All right, take your position. Hi, Virginia. Hello. Right there. Ready? All right. Ready, boys? Camera. Listen, Mary. Why don't you give up this racket, too? It's no good. Not for a swell girl like you. Why don't you get yourself a nice husband and get married? And then, then you'll have problems of your own, see? You won't have to worry about other people's. Thanks for the advice. I'd like to think of you being happy, Mary. There isn't anything you'd care to do about it, personally, is there? Steve! Steve, what have you told him? Mary, what are you doing here? Oh, please don't believe him. He's been drinking. He doesn't know what he's saying. Go on with your story, Steve. Nothing was too low. Nothing was too contemptible for you to do. Listen to me, Mander. I've got nothing but sympathy for every man in that death house. There isn't anything in the world I wouldn't do for him. But not for you, Mander, because you've got it coming. But I'm not a murderer.